You know, more than five weeks ago, Republicans uh, signaled our willingness uh, to avert the fiscal cliff uh, with a bipartisan agreement uh, that is truly balanced and begins to solve our spending problem. Uh, the President still has not made an offer that meets uh, those two standards, uh, but Republicans have. And while the President uh, promised the American people a balanced approach, his proposals have been anything but. He wants far more in tax hikes than in spending cuts. And instead of beginning to solve our debt problem, uh, he wants new stimulus spending and the ability to raise the debt limit whenever he wants without any cuts or reforms. Now, it's clear the, the President's just not serious about cutting spending. But spending is the problem. How big a problem? Now, look at this chart put together by Paul Ryan in the Budget Committee. Uh, this line is the current baseline for revenue. Here, if the President got everything he wanted, over $1.4 trillion in taxes, this is what that would represent. But if you look at the spending problem, you see it does nothing, nothing uh, to solve the spending problem that our country has. Listen, Republicans want to solve this problem by getting the spending line down. Uh, the President uh, wants to pretend that spending isn't the problem. Uh, that's why we don't have an agreement. Uh, the chart uh, depicts what I've been saying for a long time now. Uh, Washington has a spending problem uh, that can't be fixed with tax increases alone. Uh, the right answer is to start cutting spending, addressing our debt, and to paving the way for long-term economic growth. Unfortunately, the White House is so unserious about cutting spending uh, that it appears uh, willing to slow walk any agreement uh, and walk uh, uh, our economy right up to the fiscal cliff. Uh, doing that puts jobs in our country in danger. It uh, jeopardizes a golden opportunity to make 2013 uh, the year that we enact fundamental tax reform and entitlement reform uh, to begin to solve our, pro our country's debt problem and, frankly, revenue problem. As you can see from this chart, real, real revenue growth is critically important uh, as long as real cuts in spending if we're going to solve our long-term fiscal problem. As I said five weeks ago, the election wasn't a mandate to raise taxes on small businesses. It was a mandate for both parties to work together uh, to take on the big challenges that our country is facing. Republicans were ready and eager uh, to do just that. We made a reasonable offer. It's now up to the White House uh, to show us how in a they're going to cut spending and give us the balanced agreement that the President has talked about for weeks. If the President uh, will step up and show us he's willing to make the spending cuts that are needed, I think we can do some real good in the days ahead. If not, he wants to keep chasing higher spending with higher taxes. Uh, this chart's going to look a whole lot worse. And our gr kids and our grandkids are the ones who are going to suffer uh, because Washington was too short-sighted uh, to fix the problem.